Hello everyone! In this video, I want to give you some ideas what you can do in Korea when you happen to be here around public holidays. In this time, everything is closed or almost everything is closed, so let's go look into it. First up, Chokturipong. If you love to hike, there's many hiking trails around Seoul and since it's pretty cold nowadays, I decided to go to Chokturipong Peak. This peak is only 370 meters high, but the way up is pretty steep. The views along the way are really beautiful and you can see amazing scenery of Seoul filled with buildings and nature. From the top, you can follow the ridge of the mountain, which I don't recommend in cold weather because it can be really dangerous. You can also see the Namsam Tower from the top, so say hi Namsam Tower! You can choose a different way down to discover more paths and make it a round trip. Second stop, the Namsan Seoul Tower. If hiking is nothing for you, you can make a visit to the Namsan Tower by a bus and enjoy the beautiful scenery from there. Anyway, it's possible to hike there as well, so you can choose by your preference. The Namsan Tower might be closed on public holiday, but you can just be hanging around there, walk around, take a pictures, enjoy the soul view. Around the tower is a cute path filled with logs that couples put there to make their love last forever and it creates colorful and unique pathway. So if you have a day off, it's a great place where you can spend your time. Third step, Chongkechon. Great place for walk is around Chongyecheon stream. This place is open 24/7 and it can be closed only due to heavy rain for safety reasons. It's a perfect place for visit any time of year. In summer it's great to cool down a little because you can walk in the water. In rest of the year it's really beautiful to walk around there. Plus it's really safe because no cars are going around. Stop number 4. Another amazing walking place is around the Han River, doesn't matter day or night. If the weather is nice and warm, it's also good to walk to Han River Park, which is a nice place for a picnic and resting. Stop number 5. Depends on the holiday, but usually you can find some open coffee place. You can just go there, take a book with you and read or you can study like I did or you can just get some good coffee, maybe a cake, relax and enjoy your time in the coffee place. Step number six. Another option is to take a trip from Seoul. There are many good areas like Incheon, Sowon or Paju, which is place I went to. You can visit their Kamaksan that has on its way suspension bridge. This bridge is over 220 meters long and 10 meters high and it's the longest suspension bridge in South Korea. If you continue along the way, you will reach the Ungia waterfall. Area of this mountain was prohibited until recently and that is why this waterfall remained untouched by people and it's at its natural state. Thank you for watching and see you soon! Bye bye!